Welcome to Season 3 of The Short Score, the Team Roping Journal's weekly news update show, where you can find the latest on the sports leaders, from the jackpot world of the USTRC and the World Series of Team Roping to the pro rodeo ranks. I'm Chelsea Schaefer. And I'm Caitlin Gustav. And we'll be your hosts. This episode of The Short Score is brought to you by the Cinch Timed Event Championships, March 13th through 15th at the Lazy E Arena in Guthrie, Oklahoma. Last year, we got to see Justin Thigpen, the International Professional Rodeo Association superstar, stun the field and take $107,000 back to Georgia. This year, Thigpen will be back to defend his title against the likes of Eric Rogers, Casey Jones, Clay Smith, Kyle Lockett, and more. You can be there to see all the action over five rounds, plus get the VIP experience on us. Visit LazyETC.com to book your tickets for sure and take a gamble on our Road to CTEC 2020 VIP sweepstakes at the TeamRopingJournal.com. Hey everyone, it's Caitlin Gustav here. To start off, I'm really excited. Once you sit and listen to me chat at you for a little bit, you're going to get to listen to the National Western Stock Show and Rodeo winners from Denver. That's Cody Snow and Paul Leaves. We got a special interview with them after they uh, walked out of the arena with their brand new buckles. So we hope you enjoy that. But first off, we got to talk about the Cinch Town Event Championships. Those are happening March 13th through the 15th. Be sure to enter the road to the CTEC 2020 sweepstakes on TeamRopingJournal.com. We have a tab for that. Uh, You have a chance to win two club-level tickets to all five performances, VIP parking pass, two chuck wagon tickets, and a Lazy E signature Yeti cooler filled with Cinch Jeans products. It's easy to do. Just type in a few things, click submit, and wait and see if you win free to do and hey it's gonna be free at the lazy arena in guthrie oklahoma if you win this sweepstakes so be sure to enter next topic we got we can't forget the wildfire 22 it's the 22nd year of the wildfire is happening this thursday january 30th is when it kicks off with the pro-am at noon following that is the wildfire open six year and the wildfire open breakaway then on the 31st, that's Friday, we got the Open Gunslinger, the 15 and a half six steer, 13 and a half five steer, 11 and a half warm up, and the ladies only open with an eight incentive. Saturday, we got the Wildfire 2020 Businessmen's Roping, and that will happen all day long, so be sure to come out and watch that. And to close off the deal, close off the weekend on Sunday the 2nd, February 2nd, we got the Wild Nine. So be sure to head over to the Circle T Arena in Hamilton, Texas. It's going to be a lot of fun this weekend. Food, drinks, friends, family, tons of roping. Do not miss out. Moving on, we can't forget, if you don't follow them on Facebook, you should. That's JX2 and NTRL Team Roping, their Facebook page. They closed the curtain on the NTRL Wrangler National Finals in Jacksonville, Florida. If you go onto their Facebook page, they've got a ton of updates of what happened at their roping. They have photos of all the champions from each roping, so be sure to check them out and check out those winners. And if you know them, tell them congratulations. That's a big deal. Next, Coleman Proctor and Jake Long, they won the Robertson Hill Winter Classic Open Roping in Perrin, Texas. They each won $10,000. That's not bad for a jackpot, right? That's, I mean, I would love to win $10,000 from one jackpot. They were up 60 years and 40 and 33 seconds. So um, I know Jake Long, he roped there and flew to Denver because that same day, Denver was going on, the short round to Denver, so awesome. Be sure to check out our website. We're going to have a story up soon about that win for Coleman and Jake. And speaking of Denver, we have to talk about that because, well, Cody Snow and Paul Leaves ended up winning that rodeo. They tied Clay Tryon and Jake Long in the final round of the new tournament-style rodeo. Uh, They each were 4.2 seconds in that final round, which paid almost $4,000. What gave Cody Snow and Paul Leaves that win was a tiebreaker deal. The judges went back to the first two rounds that each team roped in, and Cody Snow and Paul Leaves ended up having the faster time on two head than Clay Tryon and Jake Long. So 
That's what gave them the buckles and the championship title for Denver. It was great watching. In the first two rounds, in the first round, Spencer Mitchell and Cesar De La Cruz won that with a 4.4 second run. And in the second round, Nelson Wyatt and Levi Lord won with a 4.1. Then from there, they took the top 24 teams back to three brackets in the semifinals. And so in that first bracket, Garrett Tanazi and Dustin Davis won that with a 4.6. In the second bracket was Paul David Tierney and Cody Dosher with a 5 flat. And winning the third bracket was Clay Tryon and Jake Long. And so from each three of those brackets, they took four teams back to the short round. And, well, the rest is history. So, well, without further ado, I hope you enjoy this interview with the Denver champs, Cody Snow and Paul Eves. And hang with us for next week because we'll have some special interviews with the wildfire champs on our website and more news to chat at you on Tuesday. So enjoy. All right, Cody Snow, colleagues. I really wanted to say most of the was really difficult. That's a compliment. <laughs> <laughs> you guys just won the National Western Stop Show and Rodeo in Denver. What's, how do you feel right now? I'm exci- I feel like I'm more excited for you guys. I'm really, I, it's really exciting for me just to, uh, I didn't have any money won coming here. For, and then just to do good with a new partner and all that, it's probably more important than money, really. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's a great radio one. I've never, I've never had a lot of success here or made the short round, so it was, it was pretty awesome so, getting to win it. Would you say that this new tournament style is like a thing up here? Like, I mean, you want it. It worked out good for us. I mean, it, yeah, it was really good for us. Uh, it's good. It's, it gives you, it makes you rope a little more strategy. You know, pay attention a little bit more. You don't have to freestyle as much. I mean, uh, if you get upright and, and you're set. So that's what I did like about it. Everything's kind of going that way. So. It's yeah. You you can't be as one sided. I mean, you have to. You might have to just get a time of any t- kind, or go really you know fast. So it doesn't it kind of changes it a little bit. And so, just so everyone knows, uh, they were four two in the short round. Same with Clay Trine and Jake Long, but you guys won it because you guys were faster on your first two that you ran here. Uh, Going into the first two rounds, what was kind of your guys' game plan since it was such a long week? Um, we were at the bottom of our sets, and um, just we just had to catch to make it back. I mean, like make a clean run. So we just did that on the first two, had good steers, and uh, and just completed the course. And then so we felt comfortable catching here by the last one. Yeah, I mean, it was, I, I didn't really do a good job on any of them uh, coming to today, like, kind of, I didn't rope it very aggressive and just caught, I mean, that's all we had to do, so, but we could have won money along the way easier, we should have won money in our set, and then we won a little bit last night, but I wish I'd roped a little more aggressive coming to it, but yeah, it was good. The horses you're on, you're on Annie, she's always great. Kind of talking to her. I mean, she's awesome. She always she's she makes my job super easy. I mean, if we got to go catch, uh, she lets me do that no problem. And if we have to go at them, she stays out of my way. I mean, you could go be four two on her, and I can go be eight on her tomorrow, and not have to practice on her or score or anything. I mean, it's you don't find that in a lot of horses, and so I'm super blessed to have that mare right now. I was on a horse uh, I bought about a year and a half ago from Joseph Harrison, and I, I really hadn't rode him. I rode him at Odessa and the WCRA deal in Guthrie, and uh, this is kind of the first year I've really used him. But uh, he's eight years old this year, and he uh, he did good. He did good for me. Yeah, they both those horses look pretty great in that arena. Um, and you guys were last out today, so you kind of got to watch it all pan out. Kind of was falling apart, some lights popped up. Um, talk about that steering pad and just being able to watch those teams. Do you think that kind of helped you guys make a better game plan towards the end? I don't know. I don't know about it. Like, uh, I think 4-2, and then it went to a 4-7 and 4-8. And 
for me, I got to kind of take the same throw either way. So I didn't really change. I was hoping we'd be fast enough to win it, but if we just caught, we'd probably still win something. So you know, you don't really want to run over yourself. But uh, our steer was really good. He was uh, probably the best one we had all week. He was a little bit stronger and straight and good. And, uh, some of the other ones we had were kind of checking up and slow. And I, I was I liked him pretty good. Um, yeah, I mean, you don't get, I mean, you don't, we had a good steer, and I wanted to, I made sure I got out, and then that was my main goal, was to get out, and then I wanted to be aggressive as I can without taking a dumb shot, and just because you don't get a lot of opportunities to win big birdies like this, and I was, I knew we had a good steer, and so I, I just started to be aggressive, and I rode across there, and I never made it easy, and then the run shaped up fast. I mean, we've been practicing a lot at the house, and just getting the feel for the run where you know how to set everything up and I mean I think that helped a lot right there I got to go a little bit farther down the arena and and, and set the steer up and, and then where we faced and it was tight you know and I mean that's kind of my mindset I guess going into it and we just at the house preparate to do that awesome and so coming off of this win what's next for you guys what's kind of the game plan for the next couple of weeks and going into the rest of the year just try to do the same thing. Uh, <laughs> just keep catching steers and getting through the getting through the whole process of the rodeo and see how much we win along the way. Awesome. Well, thank you guys and congratulations. Right. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this episode with Cody Snow and Paul Eaves. Be sure, don't forget to enter the Road to CTEC 2020 Sweepstakes 